and welcome back to Museum Express at Home. Now today we've got a really fun one and we're going to be talking about capillary action. What is capillary action? Oh my goodness. Now capillary action is the tendency of liquids like water to move up into really small spaces without being pushed. That's weird. So if you put a really, really small, narrow straw into some water, the water will just go up it. That's weird. Why does it do that? Well, it's actually all to do with the little forces that go on in between the molecules. But, you know, you're going to learn about that in high school and in university, I know, because you're all going to be scientists. If you're watching this, you're a scientist. But that's why science is so cool. There's always something new to learn. So those forces in between the little molecules of water help it to get sucked up into really small spaces. The kind of spaces that you find inside a piece of paper towel. So this is why paper towel is so absorbent. It likes to suck up water, but it doesn't have any, any motor, does it? Making the sucking force. It just has really tiny, tiny spaces inside the paper that water tends to get sucked into using capillary action. So we're going to use paper towel today. We're also going to be using some food coloring and some water. So get yourself some glasses. Now I've done three. You could do six or seven if you're getting really keen and have a whole rainbow of colors. You'll have to talk to your mum or dad about that one though because food colouring can get pretty nasty. So what I want you to do is to lay out your glasses like I've got them there. You're going to need to make a little bridge of paper towel full of those tiny, tiny spaces inside it that are going to suck the water into them. So what you do is you get a piece of paper towel and you roll it up. I'll do it out here so you can see. You roll it up. And then because if I left it like that, it would just unroll. You give it a bit of a twist so that it stays rolled up like this. Twist it all up. Woo. Twist it all up. And then you pop it in your glasses like this to make a little bit of a bridge like that. All right. So then we're going to put in, actually, I'll tell you what, what I've done, take your bridges, just pop them out for now. We'll put the water and the food colouring in first. I'm going to do, let's start with blue and yellow. Get some yellow in that one and some blue in this one. And you pop your water in. There we go, and in that one. Then you pop your little bridges in, no water in the middle one. Now's the fun part. So now have a look at how your food colouring is racing up that paper towel. It's racing uphill. Yeah, those capillary action forces are pulling it up the paper towel and it's going to go over the top. See the blue one's coming up here now. It's going to go over the top and then it's going to go into the glass. Now, do you know what colour you get if you mix blue and yellow? What colour do you think we're going to get in the middle glass there? Yeah, you're right. We're going to get green. But the really interesting thing is, it will actually start to fill this glass up with green water. So you wait a little bit and we'll wait a little bit and you'll see how cool that one is. Now, another thing that you can do is you can start to mix the colours over the paper towel bridge. So here we go. Let's try some extra colours in this one. We're going to go some blue here. Some red here. Do you know what you get if you mix blue and red? What colour? And then some yellow on the end. Now if you do this at home, I want you to um, pop some pictures of your colours and the mixes that you get on Facebook and tag Newcastle Museum because I want to be able to see all your cool experiments at home. There's the red, and the blue, and the yellow. All right, now pop your little bridge.
bridges in. There we go. Oh, look at it go racing up the paper towel. And that one. Now what's going to happen here, the colours, the different colours are going to come up either side of the paper towel and they're going to meet in the middle. And you're going to get, going to get some really good colour mixing going on at the top of the paper towel. You could even have six or seven um, glasses and do a rainbow all the way along. That would look pretty awesome. Make sure you send me a photo if you do that one. Now, celery also has some little tiny capillaries. If you chop off the bottom of the celery and have a good look, you will see the little holes that a celery uses to get water all the way up to its leaves. So if you pop that celery in a glass with some water and some food colouring, you're going to end up with some pretty crazy coloured uh, celery there. Look at that. What's happened is the red and the blue in that one has gone up those tiny little holes all the way up the celery. Now the water has evaporated from the, from the leaves and it leaves behind the colour. You could have some rainbow coloured celery as well and it's great to eat. You can still eat that, it's delicious. So if you're making dinner at home and you're making a salad, you could have some pretty crazy rainbow coloured celery in your salad. So don't forget, send me some photos, leave this going, you could leave it going overnight and see what cool colours you had in the morning. Send me photos of your rainbows and I'll see you next time from Museum Express at home. Bye. Surprise! You thought I was finished, but we're back. Look, we wanted to show you these cool results that we're getting. So we had to wait a couple of hours for this, but you come and have a look. What happened in this one is the yellow was sucked up and put into this cup and the blue was sucked up and put into this cup and it mixed to form green. But it wasn't just a few drops, it actually filled up the cup until it was level with the other two cups. That's pretty amazing. Now over here we've got the, the, the colour from the reds come up and it's met the blue in the middle and the yellows come up and it's met the blue in the middle. Now we've got some cool green mixing going on on the top of this one. This one we've got a little tiny bit of purple but it's not mixing too much yet. Maybe we'd have to leave that one overnight. We'll see. Make sure you send in your photos for any cool colours that you get. Thanks for watching.